Hi again. Let us continue with the part two of motor and dynamo. We have learned the working principle of motor and dynamo in the previous video, but determine the direction of force on wire by drawing the catapult field is very very complicated. So, a scientist named John Fleming invented the Fleming's left hand rule. He invented the Fleming's left hand rule method to determine the direction of force acting on a wire due to the magnetic field. So this rule is used specifically for a motor, therefore we can also call it a motor rule because we supply electrical energy to provide the motion of the motor. So when using the Fleming's left hand rule, you must make sure the things that are provided are the current and the magnetic field. Whereas the effect of it is the force. So we can say that a current and a magnetic field will give rise to a force acting on a wire. So in order to use the Fleming's left hand rule, your hand must be pointing in this way. The thumb and the index finger must be 90 degree to each other. So the next one, your middle finger must be 90 degree to your index finger. So make sure it looks like something like this. So this 90 degree to this and this 90 degree to this. So the thumb, the pointing of the thumb represents the direction of force acting on a wire. So the force will be in this direction. The index finger represents the direction of a magnetic field. So north to south, the direction is pointing in this way. Whereas the middle finger, middle finger represents the direction of current. So there's a key word for you to remember it easily to memorize what does each fingers represent. The key word here is FBI, which is the mm, FBI agent. Just remember FBI. What is F? F represents the force. The B represents the magnetic field and the I represents the current. So F, B, I. So remember it clearly and then we'll move on to the examples. First, I draw a current carrying conductor, a wire. So the current of the wire, I assume it in this direction. And the direction of the, I'm sorry, the direction of the magnetic field is in this direction. So the I represents the current flowing in the wire. This one represents, the line represents the direction of magnetic field. So maybe there are two Permanent magnets are locating beside this current carrying conductor. So the magnetic field flowing from this direction to this direction. So applying the Fleming's left hand rule, we will, we will need to find the force acting on the wire. So using the Fleming's left hand rule, remember FBI. What is F? F represents the force we need to that we needed to find. The B represents magnetic field yes correct magnetic field so pointing it in this direction and why is the eye the eye is the middle finger the current so applying this rule you can know that the force is acting upwards
So, if a wire is placing it in this way, where the current flowing in this direction and the direction of magnetic field is in this way, the wire will experience a force upward. So the wire will tend to move upwards. So the next example, the same, same diagram but different direction of fields and currents. So in this case, a wire with a current flowing in this direction. But now, I change the direction of magnetic field from, from left to right to from right to left. So applying the Fleming's left hand rule again, we need to find the F. So determine the direction, the pointing of the thumb. Now, the B is in this direction. The I is in this direction. So, the force tends to move downwards. So, in this case, the wire will experience a force downwards. Next, Same thing, we are given the current, we are given the magnetic field, we need to find the force. So, apply the Fleming's left hand rule. Where is the B? The B is the index finger. So, the B is in this direction. But wait, the I is in this direction. So, we need to flip to make sure B is in this direction, I is in this direction. So, where is the thumb? The thumb is pointing downwards. So, the force acting on the wire is a downward force. Our last example. We are given wire with current flowing in this direction the magnetic field from right to left. So apply the Fleming's left hand rule to find the magnetic force. The B, index finger. The I, our middle finger. So the force, the thumb, is pointing upwards. So the force acting on the wire is an upward force. So that's it for Fleming's left hand rule. Please subscribe our channel and then we will have more videos on motor and dynamo. So stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.